All right, man. Pretty funny lie. Pretty funny uh, response from Errol Spence Jr. Uh, on the champ side today. Uh, basically, earlier, I did a video saying why I think that Errol versus Thurman suddenly makes sense. Uh, I then did a live stream, and I started breaking down some of the scenarios I would like to see, including Errol fighting uh, at 54 for, you know, more than one belt against Tim Zhu or possibly against uh, Errol Spence Jr., right? So uh, I don't know if Errol saw this. I don't know if uh, – I know Errol people – that arrow real cool with, they follow me and stuff like that. And they'll, uh, sometimes they'll share stuff with arrow. I think they might've shared the black murderers road doc with him and stuff like that. So he responded to me today on Twitter. I know a lot of y'all saw that shout out to my little brother who actually is the one who told me, he was like, man, arrow just uh, responded to you. Right. So I didn't even see it, but, um, he basically kept it short and sweet, and he said, nah, like, I'm not doing that. Uh, as you all know, he said many times over that he's not finna fight Thurman. Uh, he's not interested in fighting Thurman. Uh, you know, he basically said they tried to push it off on him to fight Thurman. And uh, basically, the other day I tweeted, I said, Keith Thurman might be a good comeback fight for Errol Spence. And uh, this is basically Errol's response right here, so... I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how he saw this. It must, I think my tweet went viral, my original tweet, because I'm pretty sure Earl don't follow me. And um, like I said, I don't know if somebody sent it to him or what, but I thought it was funny, right? Um, how many of y'all agree with me? And by the way, we made Bleacher Report. Shout out to my guy, Blade Brown, who sent me this. Uh, he said, he said, uh, you done made it on Bleacher Report, champ. So we was on Bleacher Report. It says, Spence snubs Thurman. Errol Spence re responds to request to fight one time in his return. Right? So there you see the champ side on the Bleacher Report. Doing it big. Ugh. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, Y'all are the ones who, you know, keep everything lit. My people that actually be supporting, you know. We keep winning, dog. We just keep winning. Even when they hate, we just keep winning. People smash the like button. This say is 70 plus people in here. But I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in my chat. Oh my goodness, what the rest of y'all doing? Smash the like button, share this video, like this video. Listen, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And Earl is actually trending on my Twitter. So could we have a little bit of, um, well, there's a photo of, of uh, Bud, 50, Dr. Dre, Eminem. That was circulating earlier today. Right? So uh, Arrow haven't even tweeted since the 7th of March. He haven't tweeted in all damn near the whole month. So, you know. That, I don't know what it is about Thurman that really be grinding his gears, but he replied to it today. So, you know, you can read through his comments. Somebody said, you said you would never fight that ninja for acting Hollywood when he was the top guy and you standing on that. I respect it. Right. Listen, I always told y'all this about many of these things. I get what Errol's saying, but it really might be a good comeback fight for Errol. If you agree with me, type agree, right? No, it, no, it ain't nothing negative, malicious, nothing, right? So I think it just drives home the point that Errol don't F with uh, Thurman, right? But I think a lot of people would like to see that. I think a lot of people would support that. Um, even people in the comments was like, I don't know, bro. That's actually, you know what I'm saying? Might be a good little fight. Right. Um, yeah, I would like to see Arrow fight Boots, uh, Tim Zoo. Uh, not really Fundora, honestly. But you know, Thurman again is a name. They have a backstory, and I keep saying this: the resentment, the disdain, the the fact that they don't like each other is a selling point. That's the whole, you know, to me at least, is uh. 
It's one of the selling points. Champ side. When the champ say never, he meant it. He's standing on that. Yeah, like I said, I know what Earl said, right? But I still I still feel how I feel, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Earl. You know Earl rock with us. You know, um, I'm just glad to see, you know what I'm saying? He's active on social media. He's responding to boxing talk. You know, he might be getting that itch again. Might be wanting to jump back in there, keeping his ear to the streets, you know, especially when Champ Side got the heart of the streets. Right? Shout out to uh, Fred Muir, Burberry, shout out. Alex Powell, shout out. Sticks, Phaser Boy, shout out. Uh, hold on, let me pull this up. Now, watch how many people recover Arrow's response and see if they try to crop champ side out. Just just pay attention, you know what I mean? Just, just peep. You just peep, just peep them real quick. Just, just watch them real quick. Advanced Intellectual, shout out. Arise, shout out. Woke, shout out. Jehuda, shout out. Malik, shout out. Mr. Scarface, shout out. Hey, chat, let me put it like this. If Dame Lillard found out he was traded to the Bucks on the champ side, type yes. Right. With those things like that happening and certain fighters unfollowing us because, you know, certain things they don't like being. It, it makes me think that uh, my fault. I saw a little delay in my life. It makes me think that uh, a lot of y'all be watching me. A lot of y'all trainers, fighters, managers, family. All of y'all be watching. And that ain't nothing new because y'all been watching. Right. Man, give credit where credit is due, man. Give it up. Champ side, my dude. Keep it going, big bruh. Shout out to Alvin. I got you. Boots would most likely beat the hell out of Arrow. You think so? I don't know about all that, bruh. Boots versus Arrow ends in a brutal stoppage. Really? Love Lock said, congrats on going viral again. Champ side, the only side. Don't we do it again? Like my nigga Gates said, did it again, did it again. I know it's going to lose till I decided to win. Calvin, you said it would be a fire presser that might wake up the truth. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Take that animosity and parlay it into a, a nice little payday. Uh, Steve Mega, shout out. Thurman need to go and be a commentator. That's what they saying in the chat. So if you came in late, right, I started, you know, throwing down ideas and shit, you know, brainstorming who I want to see Errol fight. And uh, being that Errol is coming off an injury and we don't know that he's fighting. Um, but next... I threw Thurman name out there. And uh, after that, you know, Errol was like, nah, nah, bro, we ain't doing that. Remember, he was saying that they were trying to force him to fight Thurman instead of Crawford for a while. So Errol basically shut that down, right? So then what? Shout out to... Uh, Calvin, you said champ side. My unc, my uncle, he's 77 and he rock with champ side. Shout out to the great elders that watch the baddest brand in the land, champ side. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, my grandma was 90 watching my my channel and telling me I could cuss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So shout out to the people that's uh, older and wiser than the champ side. Tuning in to the champ side. Brother Mike, shout out. Says, salute champ side, the baddest brand in the land for the best media content. Hit the like, subscribe, and support the brand. Champ side, dollar sign. Uh, cash app, dollar sign, champ side. London, shout out. Watch for the hook, shout out in the super chat. He said, I think Errol would have replied the same way in an interview in person, and y'all both would have laughed about it. Yeah, I didn't, trust me, I didn't take it no type of way. I ain't taking no type of way. Plus, like, you already know, Errol know who I am very well. You know what I'm saying? He 
probably, I mean, I'm sure he's probably seen some of my lives, even if he ain't like, you know, watch the whole live. You know, I'm cool with the with with Team Spence and shit. So, no, I didn't take it no way anyway. But yeah, that's how, that's how niggas talk. Like, nah, bro, I'm cool. Like, I'm straight. <laughs> like, nah, like nah, champ. So I don't even put that out there, nigga. Like, nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> like, think about it. He haven't tweeted in damn near the whole month, and he 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 could have he could have responded to so many things, but. I think because of, you know, what I said, and it didn't go that viral, my original post. You know, this is my original post from, what, yesterday. I said, Keith Thurman might be a good comeback fight for Errol Spence. I didn't even tag Errol. That's the thing is, I didn't tag him or nothing. I didn't add him. I just tweeted that on my Twitter. Like, that's the funny thing about Twitter and some of the social media is like you could really think something to yourself, put it in the air on your account, and then people, I mean, that's what makes it public, right? But people come from out of nowhere, and I think they forget, like, bro, this is my account, nigga. Like, this is what I think. Nah, man, see, so you wrong, motherfucker, you wrong. Like, all right, then go do that on your channel then, on your Twitter. But a lot of people was agreeing with me. Great idea. Perfect. Right? There was one BS in there. They definitely up next. 100% yes, yeah. Let him cook. So a lot of people was agreeing with me. Uh, did y'all watch Canelo's press conference today? I didn't see it. I didn't see it, and I don't think I need to see it. But yeah, I basically told Errol, I said, we already know, champ. I already know what he's thinking. I guess that's what I meant when I said we already know. Like, we already know you <laughs> you ain't trying to fight Thurman for your own reasons. But I said, we still waiting on the next one either way. I started to ask him when he fighting, but I didn't want it to sound a certain way. Right? But that's what y'all want to know, right? When you coming back, who you fighting? Right? So... See what the chat is saying. The gnarly trucker shout out. 504, you said, right, they be seen. For him to even respond in that way he did, let me know he rock with you. Yeah, yeah. He went, like I said, I didn't take it no type of way. I was just like, I laughed as soon as I no, actually, like my brother sent me a message. I was texting my brother earlier and about school or because he in school or something. And then he said, he said, I just got out of class about to walk to my next, but I seen Arrow responded to your tweet and he talking about nah. <laughs> he started laughing. I looked at my Twitter. I'm like, oh, damn, he did. He did uh, say something. He did respond. I didn't even see that. It was up for like an hour before I seen it. Just show you how I don't be on Twitter like too, too. I'll be out check it, but. I think I might have my notifications off because people be blowing my mentions up with nonsense. But one, like I said, this is good because it's boxing talk and it shows that Errol is, um, when I say comeback fight, right? That means, well, I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say is he's entertaining some type of return fight, just not against Thurman, most likely, right? And then I thought about I said, well, I guess what would somebody if you said somebody is having a comeback, what would the what would the super confident former champion say as re as regards to a comeback? You get what I'm trying to say? Basically what I'm saying is the very confident athlete or competitor will say, "Well, come back from what, nigga? I never left." You know what I'm saying? I just took a L. But I'm not I don't have to come back. What did LL Cool J say? Don't call it a comeback. That was LL, right? So I say maybe I said maybe I could have worded it a little different, but I don't think, like I said, I think everybody understood what I was saying. And I hope Errol did watch my Black Murderers Road doc. And I'm pretty sure that Jordan sent it to him. My guy Jordan, shout out to Jordan. I almost positive that Jordan sent it to him. So he probably did watch it, honestly. You said I'm waiting on part two of the Black Murderers Road doc. Uh, I don't know if there will be a part two, honestly, but I am doing another doc that's um, it's, it's necessary. It's necessary as well. It's not about Black Murderers Row, 
but I think it needs uh, some attention. So we're going to deliver that as well. Uh, shout out to Dominique in the Cash App. Appreciate that. Shout out to Dominique supporting the baddest brand in the land, Cash App. You know, uh, well, actually, I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm going to just do it. I'm not even going to tell y'all. I'm going to just do it. Don't even want to announce my move. I'm going to just do it, dog. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. I missed shout out to Watch for the Hook again in that super chat. Uh, but I agree with you. You know, basically what you're saying that uh, Arrow would have responded the same way in, in in real life. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's one of my favorite people to interview, honestly, Arrow, because... He's thoughtful. He think about the question. Uh, he's kind of like simple with it. Like he gets straight to it, but he's very thoughtful when he speaks. So he just gets straight straight to the answer, you know. I think the last time I interviewed him was, for real, for real, was right before the fight. When I asked him about that footage of him saying, uh, I'm knocking out everybody. If you don't know my name, you a bum. That's probably the last time I really talked to Errol, like for real, like, in face to face type shit. So I know he's seen that Barrington Levy highlight tape I dropped. Murderer. Swing. Shoobity bobbity shoobity. <laughs> hey, Chant, we need more documentaries, my man. A jack of all trades. That's from Dominique. Well, since you sent me a cash app, good brother. I can inform you and let you know that I do plan on doing documentaries. I've been doing them, but yeah, I plan on stepping my game up. Plan on doing, like I said, I'm dropping one in the next month. Just know that. By this time next month, I'll have the next one out. So, Miss Aisha said, hey, champ, Sai. Shout out to Miss Aisha in the chat. Shout out to my guy, Intelligent Savage. He said, let's go. Let's get it. Uh... I did a short video on this. You said that you said that y'all watch Canelo conference today. Nah, nah, I didn't see it at all. You said I didn't even know it was happening. Canelo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened today. It happened today, but I didn't watch. I heard something like Canelo won a hundred million to fight David or something. I gotta, I gotta, I haven't been home. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta do my. Excuse me. I gotta check my. You know, my. I gotta check my Palm Pilot. <laughs> Make sure everything is cope aesthetic. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it was whack. Tony Harrison or Castano would be a fun comeback fight. No, nah, I think Tony might be be done for real, for real. Castano though, because him and Castano got history. You know, Errol lost to Castano in the amateurs. But I think Thurman has more drawing power, more name recognition. Uh, B-Class Music, though, shout out. Real Dude Uprising, shout out. Uh, Malik, well, anybody I miss, shout out. Spence Thurman would be the perfect fight to come back. Both don't like each other, and it was at one point the fight was the biggest fight to be made. Right, and they both is unified champions, former unified champions at welterweight. Chat. Now let's just keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. Did you see Anthony Edwards dunk on John Collins? Yeah, I saw a worse one though. It was um Austin Reeves. He got tea bagged by uh, uh Jalen Johnson from the Hawks, I think. It to me, I don't count dunks where you threw it in as a dunk, but but that nigga Anthony Edwards, I got him on my fantasy team in the Champ Side League. He been cooking all year. That's Michael Jordan's son, bro. For real. That's Michael Jordan's son. Shout out to CJ, the, the family's cartel. Hell yeah, I seen that shit. Nigga ain't been dunking on everybody this year. I'm surprised he didn't get Wimby yet. But the one that Jalen Johnson did was even worse. Because he did uh, uh, Austin Reeves like, like Kobe did Dwight Howard. Nigga had his whole upper body in a pretzel. Nuts on his neck, nigga. Teabag. <laughs> it's funny. If you go back and rewatch Aunt Edwards' dunk, 
Look at John Collins on the on the ground after he dunked on him. That nigga holding his head. He didn't even get touched in the head. <laughs> that nigga just holding his head. Embarrassed. That boy is on fire. That nigga ain't stupid nice. I got, you know who on my fantasy team in, in, in the Champ Side League? I got Ant Edwards. I got Kobe White from the Bulls. I got Dame Dollar, Dame Lillard, Champ Side Family, Ant Edwards, De'Aaron Fox. Brooke Lopez, uh, uh, Scotty Barnes got injured, uh, Evan Mobley, I think. Um, who else got injured off my team recently? Let me look at my lineup. Oh, I got DeMar DeRozan. I'm number two in the league. I've been number one or number two almost all season. These boys can't beat me, bro. I'm holding that league down. Holding it down. I got Sexton. I got Colin Sexton, I got Terry Rozier, De'Aaron Fox, Denny uh Abdija, boy be balling for the uh for the Washington uh Wizards. I got Franz Wagner, Ant Edwards, who's playing tonight, should be playing tonight against Denver. I got I picked up PJ Washington. I got Seekum, Pascal, Seek, Seekum, DeRozan, Kobe White, Mikel Bridges. I mean Miles Bridges, my fault. Miles Bridges, not to be mistaken with Mikael Bridges. So anyway, we play in a nine-category league. So anyway, just a little basketball to talk. Bro, your lineup is crazy, champ. Yeah, it's. I think it's only eight teams, eight or nine, maybe ten teams, but I went with a balanced team, like people that give me points, assists, rebounds, blocks, three-pointers, field goals, all of that's in there, steals. Every category is its own category. Dunked on that boy. He was still in shock. Is he going yet? Yeah, that nigga was on the ground holding his head. <laughs> the dunk was nasty, a true poster. But yeah, no, nah, Ant been killing niggas, cooking niggas. He really do play super old school. Like, you said that's MJ's son for real? That's what they say. They say that's Michael, they, they say that's Michael Jordan's son, bro. That's Michael Jordan's son, nigga. We sham. Shout out to Therapeutic. But uh, anyway. You didn't miss anything, a real snoozer, Nello Presser. I already knew that shit was going to be boring, man. With You put in Mungi and Canelo. Yeah, that's that's trash. Marvelous shout out. Picasso shout out. But yeah, man, like I said, I wasn't going to be on here long. I just wanted to touch base real quick. So we still, you know what I mean? We still in circulation, bro. We still we still got the heart of the streets, man. Shout out to Arrow for uh, you know, even this simple reply, you know what I mean? A whole bunch of people follow me off of this shit for whatever reason. I don't know why, but shout out to my new followers. If you're not following me on Twitter, go follow me. Six thousand something strong over there on the twit on the twit. Six thousand three hundred and thirteen people following the baddest brand in the land. You can also join my community, which I've not done much with, honestly. Shout out to my guy, Blade Brown. Well, you done made it on Bleacher Report. And there we are. Let's go to Bleacher Report. See if, let's see what our own eyes. Bleacher Report. I like Bleacher Report. So shout out to them for, uh, you know, putting us on their website. Let's see. Let's go to sports. Go to boxing. Right. On Bleacher Report. Spence Snubs, hold on. Spence Snubs Thurman responds to request the fight one time in his return. So there it is. Y'all see that? We're on Bleacher Report, people. There it is. I don't know how long it's going to take, people, but we always going to find our way to the top. If you understand, type understand. Every time, bro. Some days it some days it feel like, you know what I mean, the world might go against us. But what my boy Floyd say in that clip, the world can go against me. God is on my side. And God is good. Shout out to both of my grandmothers. We still, we got this shit lit every time. Just listen, just, just listen, man, listen. Listen, 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 listen. 
When one door closes, as they say, you know the rest. So some people unfollow and more people follow. Oh, my goodness. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. And I follow a, a boxing page because I'm a big boxing fan yeah. called Champside. And Champside was the first post on my on my screen, <laughs> and it had a picture of me and Giannis. And it was like maybe 10 seconds as I was looking at it, I got a call from my agent, and he was like, they traded you to Milwaukee. Nigga said, Champside, I'm a Toronto Raptors fan, and you butchered Sia Seacom's name. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'll just call it nigga Pascal. But the crazy part is I had him and Scotty on at the same time on Toronto. Scotty was killing in the beginning of this year, right? Then Pascal got traded and Scotty when when uh, RJ came over there his numbers fell. He picked it up after the All-Star but now he hurt. So things stay heavy hitting on the champ side. CC shout out, Blaze shout out. Uh so Big Fish still a fan and always will be. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Like, man, people still rocking with Earl. That's, at the end of the day, I don't give a damn who he fight. We just looking out to see who he might be fighting next, you know? But uh, you said claim it. Appreciate that. Got to claim something. But, uh, but anyway, man, I, I just wanted to check in with my evening audience. As I said, I'll be trying to go live twice morning, sometime around this time in the evening. As uh, soon as I got home, I, I, I cut the live on real quick so I could uh, run in here real quick. You said it's pronounced Sia, Sia Kim. Okay. <clears throat> I'll try to remember that and also try to care enough to actually pronounce it correctly. Right? I'll probably just call him Pascal. It's easier. But shout out to Ziggy for the correction. Even though I've never seen him in my chat before, it's all good because, you know, it's all good. So anyway, go check out Errol's post. You know, if you want, you can uh, go reply to him or something. You know, tell him how you feel about that fight. But uh, he did respond to the baddest brand in the land and said, hell no, nah, nigga. Hell to the no. Nah. I see you over there, Miss Aisha, talking about take the L out of lover. Now, why you just going to pile on your boy like that? You think Errol was watching my live earlier today? <laughs> when I was making all them scenarios up on the overhead projector? I don't know. You might have been in here. Nigga might have came out of that live like, all right, bro, you got too many ideas, bro. Go on, cut it out. Right? Because I was putting all kind of shit up there. Errol versus Boots. Errol versus Bud. Errol versus Tim. Errol versus Thurman. Hey, champ side. Next time, ask Spence if he's training back with Blu-ray for his next fight. Yeah, I mean, I'll ask Errol whatever. I haven't, bro, I haven't talked to Errol about nothing. I don't message him. I don't bother him. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, one, one time I started to hit him up, though, like, ask him, like, yo, you good? You straight? But I don't know. I, I didn't want to sound like, you know, weird type shit, nigga. Like, the fuck you mean am I good, nigga? I'm, yeah, I'm paid, nigga. And I'm on vacation with my girl, nigga. But uh, so I just didn't. I, I just didn't hit him up. I started to, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, to me when I rock with somebody, that's just how I get down. Like, I don't need nothing. I'm just, hey man, I'm just checking in. What's good with you? You know what I'm saying? Hope all is well. God bless. You know what I'm saying? Keep it simple. You said what you? Oh no, I was just messing with you, Miss Aisha. I know. Yeah, I know. You said that here. That's why I said. Do you think he was watching? Cause I remember you said that earlier today. Yeah, I know you said that earlier today. Yeah, I didn't take it. I ain't take it no way. I was really just teasing you. Next time I saw that. See a see a come. See a see a come. Okay. See ya come. See ya come. Some shit like that, right? Call that nigga. Call that nigga a uh, minute bowl. What the fuck you talking about? But uh but yeah, I don't know what Arrow's doing. I, I haven't uh I haven't seen Blu-ray in a long time or, or heard of Blu-ray in a long time. I haven't checked in with him in a minute. Well, that's what you deliver intellectual property of all sorts of scenarios. Yeah, man. We I got y'all, man. So 
stay tuned for the next project. Uh, keep y'all up up to date with the latest boxing news. Uh, turn your notifications on. How many of y'all got y'all notifications on and they work? They not working. You know, redo them. Make sure that you have your phone set to turn on notifications. Like sometimes if you turn your YouTube notifications on, but you don't turn your iPhone notifications on, your iPhone will block it because your iPhone is overseeding your YouTube. So go to your settings and your iPhone or whatever you got and make sure you go to notifications and then go to YouTube and make sure they're not being blocked. Then that way you should get all pop-up notifications and stuff like that. So try to be live 9 p.m. I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 Eastern, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Two different lives, uh, morning, evening, and uh, that's it, man. We're about, what, 33 days, something like that, away from Devin versus Ryan, and then we're, I don't know, 11 days or something like that from Sebastian Fandora versus Tim Zoo. So maybe Bud will be there. I think Bud will be there. I would think he's going to be there. How many of y'all watched the gloves are off? I thought it was pretty good. Or was it? Is that what it's called? The prime version of the all access? I thought it was pretty good, actually. They was showing that young footage of Keith Thurman. He looked like a whole different person, man, with all that hair and shit. And it just show you how hard he used to fight, too, right? He's a long way from that, in my opinion. Go look at that footage in that, in that basically that behind the scenes on Amazon Prime. Thurman looked like a whole different person. But he was a teenager then, you know? So. You said, yeah, I'll put it on my iPad now and phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. With that said, I'm out, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Follow us on all social media. Support the brand. Uh, keep, you know, sharing the the, the tweets and the, the the videos. I mean, every time you share it, that's that many more people that will see it. And, like, by people attaching to that tweet that I said about Earl where I didn't even add him, he seen it, he responded to it, and uh, now it's viral. Now we on Bleacher Report. So it just shows you, if y'all watch my channel, man, I get thousands of views on my lives. Y'all hit the like button, bro. Share the video. Uh, comment. It goes a long way. With that said, I'm out. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champ side. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Until tomorrow. Peace. Shout out to Champ side, man. That's the only side. <laughs> and you're listening and you're tuning in to the baddest brand on the land. Champ side, baby. Shout out to Champ side. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Shakur Stevenson. Shout out to Champ side. They the best in the business. Shout out to the Champ Side, man. AB, man, checking out. And you also can find me here at Champ Side. You hear me? You know I got to do it for my dude. Shout out to Champ Side, the baddest brand in the land. This is Alicia Baumgartner, WBC World Champion. This is the baddest in the land, Champ Side, baby. Shout out Champ Side, the baddest brand in the land. Always show me love. You know, y'all been here since day one. Thank you. Yeah, hey, shout out to Champ Side. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys so much for your support. Love, Champ Side. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bro, I'll talk to you when I was Champ Side. Why you keep letting me say Champ Side? That was me. I thought that was you, bro. I look back at me. I thought that was you. Champ Side, what's up, baby? Catch the exclusives, all the exclusives on the baddest brand in the land. That's Champ Side. I'm Tio Fimo Lopez. Shout out Champ Side. Champ Side. What up, baby? Shout out to Champ Side, my dude, bro. Shout out, reach pro Side, all the way around, man, up and down, man. We love Champ Side. Thanks for Champ Side, man. For always showing love. He got it hands down, no no questions, if as a butts. I got him. Champ Side, holla at him. Wonder, you, you know, you, you telling the truth out there. I appreciate you know, that. I, yeah. Well, you the truth. You train, you know, you train in the my truth. Wife, my wife be in the room. She shoot me out of the Champ Side, Champ Side. Appreciate you for having me. Champ Side boxing, y'all. I think Champ Side is the next to blow, and um, I, I, I really, really believe it's the future of uh, covering boxing. So hopefully they stop hating, they start appreciating, and get with the Champ Side, you know, rocking with the Champ. Shout out to Champ Side, they always show love, always show love to fighters and things like that, you know what I'm saying, not being biased, just giving honest opinions on things. I appreciate y'all being 100 in the sport. So you had to bite down, fam. That's your different champ. Get with us, bro. For sure. And I want to give a big shout out to Champ Side because they were uh, 
ruthless. Like they stood up for me and continue to stand up for what's right in boxing and use their platform um, to tell the truth. They like that, like that. <laughs> Champ side. Champ side. You heard? You gonna be Champ all right. Side. You heard? Lock up the puppets, man. Get your ass in these seats and let's be real for this dude. Stop messing around. He's freaking motherfucker. Shout out to Champ side, man. That's the only side. <laughs>